All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. My pumpkin's ready to start adding that color. So I'm gonna take a look at this pumpkin so that you can see it again. That um, the lightest part is gonna be at the top of the pumpkin because that's where the light hits. The middle of the pumpkin is kind of mostly orange. And the very bottom of the pumpkin gives that nice little shadow to make it look round. If we look at a real pumpkin, you're gonna see those things. Light at the top, orange in the middle, and it gets darker at the bottom so that our pumpkin looks round. I'm gonna move this pumpkin off to the side and bring in my oil pastels. You're gonna see that I have five oil pastels. I have red, red orange, orange, orange yellow, and yellow. Now, if you do have all five of those colors, you certainly can use them. Most of the time, I like to just use the red, the orange, and the yellow. Now, when I start with my pumpkin, I've gotta remember that um, oil pastels are not crayons. Oil pastels are great because they are great to do blending and color building and color mixing. So I'm gonna start with my pumpkin. Um, I'm actually gonna start with orange because most of my pumpkin is orange. And with my oil pastel, I am just going to color very lightly up and down my pumpkin. I'm gonna do one section at a time because that will help your pumpkin look also look round and give it some form. So you can see I use very, very, very light. I'm gonna put that oil pastel down and I'm gonna grab that yellow. And I'm gonna start at the top, but I'm gonna follow the curve or the shape of the pumpkin. And I'm gonna go ahead and let that yellow overlap that orange just a little bit. Again, I'm gonna color lightly so that my colors get a chance to blend. You can kind of see the blending happening right in there. I'm gonna put yellow down. I'll pick up my red oil pastel and I'm gonna start the same thing on the bottom. Very light, but I'm also going to try to follow the shape of my pumpkin. Now, I do it up and down so that my colors have a chance to blend. So imagine that these were colors and my hand was at the top. My hand, my colors could actually blend into those openings. Okay, I use that to show how my colors are actually blending. And if I were to try to blend side by side, there's really not any openings for those colors to blend. So, that was my first round. I'm gonna go back with a second round. I'm gonna add orange again. Might press a little bit harder, but I might just be putting on another layer, filling in some of those empty spots and I'm gonna go ahead and overlap that yellow a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and overlap that orange just a little bit. Good so far. I'm gonna pick up my yellow oil pastel again and I'm gonna go on a second layer. Now a little bit at a time is gonna give those colors a chance to do some really great blending. You can see some really great blending in there. I'll go back down to the bottom and grab my red and blend it just a little bit more, letting it overlap. And that would be my second layer. Um, it looks actually pretty good. I could stop here and move to my second section of the pumpkin and I could keep doing some blending. But I'm gonna go back one more time just because I like it nice and full. I might press a little bit harder with my orange and get it just a little bit more blended. And then I'll probably go back one more time with my yellow, get it a little bit more blended, go back to the bottom with my red and get it a little bit more blended. Okay, you can see I've got a great blend going on and I would continue these steps and I would do it in each section, one section at a time. 